Welcome to our tech tutorial. Today, we're tackling a question that many developers encounter when working with animations on the web. Our viewer is trying to capture animations using headless Chrome and stitch them together with FFmpeg. They believe that the start screencast method is the key to achieving this, but they're running into some challenges. Let's break down their question and explore how to effectively use start screencast and screencast frame to capture those elusive frames. Welcome back to another technical video. Today we'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution that you need. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you find that resolution you need. Anyway, let's continue on. To capture animations from a website using headless Chrome, we can utilize the start screencast method from the Chrome DevTools protocol. You can initiate the screencast with the following command. This will start capturing frames in PNG format. Next, you need to listen for incoming frames. This is done using the screencast frame method, which will provide you with the image data and metadata. If you're not seeing any output, it may be due to how you're calling these methods. Instead of starting the screencast repeatedly in a loop, you should start it once and then listen for frames continuously. Here's a more efficient way to implement this. Start the screencast once and then handle frames as they come in. This will improve performance significantly. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To capture screen video with headless Chrome, the user faced an issue where nothing was printed because the process terminated too quickly. They resolved this by keeping the process alive for at least five seconds. The user implemented a screencast using a simple setup. They started the screencast, processed each frame, and acknowledged the frames received. They noted that frame rates were low on their machine, around 10 frames per second, despite Chrome rendering at 60 frames per second. This might be due to only sending frames with different content. And that's it guys. I hope the video helped find the resolution that you're looking for and you got the answer and worked your way through. If it did, please hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And until the next time you need technical help, I hope you have a good one.